think it's important that we um, be in relationship with our own moral sources. In other words, what are the what are the sources of value that move us? Um, do they come from a faith tradition? Do they come from our families? Do they come from cultural traditions? What are the narratives that have informed our understanding of who the people are that we want to be? Um, so understanding our own sources of um, of what we value is very important. And being able to articulate, as moral philosopher Charles Taylor talks about the importance of articulation, being able to put into words, I understand why I'm being called to this. Um, and being able to go back there <laughs> uh, and sort of retool. <laughs> Um, and replenish. Um, and people have different ways of doing that. Some people do it through prayer, some people do it through reflection, some people... But secondly is re being in relationship with others. I mean, I don't think this is a solo, it's not a solo deal. And uh, especially when you're in public leadership roles, it can be very challenging that when you feel like you're being constantly called on to put out, but nothing's coming back to you and you need your own people. You need whether it's family relationships and intimate relationships, friends, but also colleagues, peers. I think one of the worst things that can happen to people in leadership positions is to be so become so elevated that they lose the normal accountability that uh, most of us are subject to. Uh, and they, it's easy to spin out of control. And um, when people that's around you just sort of you know they're just saying stuff to because they think it's what you want to hear you lose you lose contact you you know nobody can call you on your stuff that's very dangerous dangerous stuff so how you how you how you develop the set of relationships around you and mechanisms of accountability i think is very very important and i think the third thing um, is uh is the joy of the work if the work isn't giving you joy, <laughs> then you got to not do it. <laughs> In other words, everybody I know who is who is who excels at what they do, even though it's hard and there's discipline and disappointment, finds joy in the actual doing of it. Whether it's the playing of music or the painting of a painting, or the coaching of uh, of of someone, or the teaching, or and and they're good at it because it's that kind of love for what they do that draws them into the detail that makes them excellent and so if you got that juice coming back and you got people around and you have a sense of your own sources but you know that's a lifetime project I love this quote by E.B. White who said uh, he said when I wake up in the morning I never know whether to save the world or savor the world it makes it hard to plan the day. I think you have to have both, and that keeps you going.